Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Ballin' and I'm back at it again with some more Madden 22 content and I've got what should be a GG because this is my fantasy league, a league where I have my team built exactly the way I like it and I'm going to show you that if you don't care about all this other stuff about what's happening in this league, you can just skip to see the teams and then skip to see the game. Uh, I'll put those timestamps below, but anyways... If you, if you watch my Jets League, this guy was using the Titans and I could not stop his run. On top of that, Zach Wilson made some pretty messed up throws in the beginning of that game. That pretty much just cost the whole game for me. So, this is my redemption game basically. This is my chance to get this guy back because now I have a QB. There's no more excuses. I should be able to beat this guy with my squad, but this guy ain't no slouch. And I'm curious to see what his team is built like, because if he got a run heavy team, I already know I'm going to get annoyed. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get into weekly strategy. Then I'll show you the teams and then we'll go ahead and get into the game. So I always upgrade. Uh, the people who need the help the most or the people who I want abilities for the most. So Diablo, I want him I want his speed rushing to just be upgrade upgraded by a ton. I need him getting off that edge super fast. I need Quez's route running to be nice. And I want to try and get him a superstar as soon as possible because I need at least one of my guys to have route tech. And Quez is closer to 80, so I'm going with him. And CJ Henderson, I was just doing it just so he could just, you know, we just got a nice thread out there. But he ended up getting a, a plus one speed boost, which I didn't record, but I definitely saw it happen. So he's back in the number two spot because now that boy fast. Like this team could very well end up being like all 95 and up speed te like team type of deal. And that'd be crazy. And it's totally possible. So let's go ahead and hit these upgrades, Aziz. I'm gonna keep upgrading his speed rushing until I get edge threat for him because he is gonna be superstar once that unlocks. Uh, like I said for Diablo, I'm gonna keep doing speed rusher. Cause that's the main thing I want him to be good at. I just want him to get to the quarterback so fast. Andre Smith, I don't even know if this guy gets in. Or not, so I'm just gonna do one stopper. Just cuz. Can't have can never have too much block shedding. And Quez. I'm doing slide. For the off chance that he gets that he gets faster, and I need more catching traffic. So cool. That's that's exactly what I need out of him. He's gonna burn everybody running running deep routes. Uh, just based off of speed alone, but I need him to be able to catch that thing in traffic, which I'm sure his stat is low on because he's he's low overall, but high speed. So let me show you my teams and then let me show you his. He's the Rams. I'm saying that so I remind myself. So I got Tom Brady for Tom Brady reasons. Uh, I got AJ Dillon because I like power backs. Wide receiver, I want strictly speed. Quez Watkins, Anthony Schwartz, Jalen Guided. These two are the primary weapons and I can put them on crossers at any moment because I have Tom Brady. Also have this 90 speed uh, tight end, Jacob Harris. Offensive line is kind of atrocious. We won't look at that. Melvin Ingram, John Franklin Myers, Linval Joseph, Aziz the rookie, Nick Neiman, Divine Diablo, and then at cornerback, bro, so stacked. So, so, so stacked. So Dante Jackson, 96 speed, CJ Henderson, 94, and Greedy Williams, 94 speed. The reason why CJ Henderson is back in the number two spot because homie went up plus one speed and his man coverage is higher. So yeah, bro, you can start because I'm mainly going to be running man because no one should be able to outrun you guys. Um, and then Jeremy Chin, who was balling out, and Derwin James Jr., who has also been balling out. And then my user, Trey Tony Brown. Um, I almost said Trey. No, that's, that's a different guy. Uh, slot wide receiver is Guyton. Um, although, 
It shouldn't be like that. It should be Schwartz. Schwartz should be a slot. Um, Cause then I can motion that guy over and then I can do double crossers. Uh, so cool, that's the slot. Um, and then sub linebacker, I got Derwin James Jr. there. Slot cornerback, uh, let's switch this and put Greedy there now. So that's how we rock it. I love this team, man. All right, now let's see what he's working with. I swear to God, if he has Derrick Henry. Jordan Love, he got it for the throw power. He's smart. Devin Singletary. Okay, I, I can I can I can fight against this. Um slow wide receivers, bro. This should this should be locked up just based off of man coverage. Um Mark Andrews, who, who you know he's good. Uh TJ Watt, that's gonna be frustrating with my O line. Um slow corners, there's just no way. I mean, most of the time I look at this, it's just gonna be like, damn dude, I feel sorry. 5'9", 87 speed, strong safety. Bruh. Rest in peace, yo defense. Um, sub linebacker, maybe he has something chilling there that I don't know about. Nope. Slot cornerback? Nope. This makes me feel like it was my team even more. So. Like, like, just based off a team matchup, this should be an easy win. Just, just based off of that, so. Uh, here's what the league is looking like right now. Tony, I mean, not Tony. Tom Brady uh, is not on the passing leader list yet. Uh, but we don't, we don't get him on. We don't get him on that thing. Watch. Watch. I just need to get, I need to get my feet wet and get used to, to putting these crossers on the field. And as you saw from the last few videos, I've been able to practice because I do have a couple of other wide receivers who had route apprentice on them. A running back who had running back apprentice and i was able to practice so now it's time to go off with tom brady we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the national football league on ea sports just a short time ago smoke from the pyrotechnics filled the dome as the colts made their way out of the locker room we're set for football as the colts get set to match up with the los angeles rams be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. So after the INT, it's Brady. His throw caught at about the 5, and he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a... And he takes it in for a cold score. His third rushing touchdown on the year, his fifth overall. And the Colts on just two plays have taken the lead. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Tate to return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game, it leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha-ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They will run with Singletary. 
And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense for the Colts, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And one of the key numbers that I look at after every game, total yards allowed. They held them under 200 yards of total offense, just couldn't sustain much of anything against them. Great job showing them different looks and then attacking. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. A give, Singletary right side. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback. Check the mic and make you sure it's trying to duck through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And they see right through that. Defensively, as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Working out of the gun. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And the Colts are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interception. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit. trying to. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. J.J. Watt, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's so coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Brady. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They give to Dillon out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing is Brady on third down. Wide open receiver complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 32-yard right line. Boy. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Hey, check it. Mike 54. Mike 54. Oh, here we go. Oh. Check it. To throw again on second down. Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And he's got his target, Harris. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jacob Harris with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Colts have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Tate to return. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Right back to Singletary on second down. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. Oh, he's got a little daylight. 66 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Love. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Colts are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their own 46. Now Brady. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. To throw on second and 10, Brady. He'll get that complete to the tight end, Harris. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Dylan now on first and 10. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run again with Dillon. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Brady down a throw. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. They'll run on first down. Dillon. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete. Yeah. What happened? During film 
study. That's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe. It. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Quez Watkins, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. And some dangerous territory, already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're gonna get all these points back on one drive, you're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Throwing again on second and ten. Love. That is caught by Lamb. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling out to get focused, because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. And quickly to the outside, that's caught by Lamb. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. They run here with Singletary. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Devin Singletary taking it in from seven yards away. And the Rams are able to draw a bit closer. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point, and our score stays right where it is. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just... Get and that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Quez Watkins, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Colts continue to pull away here this first half. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Singletary here running out of the gun, and that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They'll give this to Singletary running right. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave them with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb, and that will be incomplete. 
Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Fourth down and on is Ty Long to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, safe the defense. You, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the that's last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game and they find a way to be successful with it. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Quiddy Pay brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now Brady, going deep here for Watkins. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Quez Watkins on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Colts add on to their lead. Santos with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. From the 30 on second down, Love. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And he will bring it back. And Interception return for a Colts TD. So that's now three first half interceptions, and that last one even costlier as it's returned for six points. So as a quarterback, how do you regain your focus? <laughs> well, QB 101 says you never show them that you're sweating. Still act like you're the guy that you've thrown six touchdown passes, not three interceptions. But he's human. He's got to face up to his teammates. He's got to own up to that. See if he can brace up and also not look over his shoulder and see his backup starting to warm up. It's going to be a tough one for him. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. The 
last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They run once more with Dillon. Not much there, maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. From the gun on third down, Brady. He's gonna look deep for Watkins. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big play there for Andy. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A.J. Dillon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have taken a six-touchdown lead. Santos with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've got to dig Check down deep. Make they sure they need something right, right now. Really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half. Okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions. Then coming together as a group going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. On third down, Roethlisberger. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Looking for Tate, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. There he goes, left side. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Now the point after try for Santos. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Position through the pick six, obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunk. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. Dante Jackson picks it. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They'll try the left side with Dylan. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On oh, second down, another run for Dylan. 
Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And he will find his man, Schwartz. That's complete. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Brady gives this to White. And he's not even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now there's also a flag down. And it's in the area of holding. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again. But now from further back on first and goal. Throwing now is Brady. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. You get five, that's a whale of a game. Now Brady bats his forward on the jet sweep. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Brady now on third and goal. Now he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 11 yards, but still not enough. Fourth down. There's another example that playing football isn't strictly being physical. You've got to think as well. Nice job reading his keys by the linebacker and going out in the open space when they dumped it to the back. He was able to make the play and stop him short of the goal line. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A.J. Dillon, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Colts get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Santos now to add the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. he heard a whistle there was no whistle he just got up and spiked it here's Ty Long now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away first kick 47 this one looks good as well so a change of possession here on the punt and the Colts will go on offense here first and ten The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. 
from the 44. Brady, and this is caught by Watkins. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again. And he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, Dylan. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Brady to throw on third and one. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. They'll run for it with Dillon. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 88 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just Check gave it inside. And make sure nice steady gain. Boy, second down, Dylan. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Again, it's Dylan, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, he wants him to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. Here's Tate to return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Right back to Singletary on second down. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. 
Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Now it's Roethlisberger. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 37. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. A gain of three, second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Indianapolis, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And yeah, they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports. All right. Well, we got ourselves a dub. That guy uh, was not actually... What the heck? All right. Like I was saying, that guy wasn't actually able to draft his team. He just joined and picked up the Rams. So it's not like he was able to build his team the way he would like it to look. But either way, you know, it's still cool. It's still cool to get a dub. Um, and I know that my team is going to be a tough one to beat. But with the way that guy's team was set up, he really didn't have a chance at all. So, hey, man, it is what it is. We got our dub. We're 2-0. Um, it doesn't look like that many people have played yet because we kind of just advanced. So this is what the league is looking like. Tom Brady leading the league in passing yards. Let's go. Quez Watkins is the number two receiver. Um, I don't know if Jalen Waddle's team has played yet. Uh, Hicks, Jeremy Chin is up there. We didn't get very many. Like the interceptions got spread around. So, so Jeremy Chin wasn't able to just rule the field this time. Um, and that's okay. Uh, sacks, we're not on that list. Receiving yards, so like our passing is basically just... We're, we're balling out, passing the ball right now. So that's cool, you know? I'm totally okay with that. Because that's how I built this team. I built this team to be able to, to air it out, you know? So I just want to check to see if I have any upgrades that I can do real quick. Nah, they being stingy with the points, bro. That's why I need to hurry up and get Quez Watkins to superstar. And you just feed him the ball. Which I've been doing, you know. I've been, I've been getting the ball to him, but I need to get the ball to him more. Like, I need him to get a dev game so that I can put route tech on him. Because the second I just got, I just need one of these guys to have route tech. And then it's just a, a wrap. Because I tried to run that route that um, the crosser out of the close, single back close formation. And he wasn't getting out like behind the defense. So I don't know if that was because of the defense this guy was running or because neither one of these guys has route tech. So I want to hurry up and get this guy um, his dev game. Uh, the way Jalen Guiding has been playing, he might get one too. Uh, Schwartz, I mean, all of them, really. Every single one of them have just been balling out. Tom Brady doing Tom Brady things. That dude really retired. That's crazy. But yeah, so I'm really liking my team, and I like the way they're playing. 
and we just got to keep up this momentum. And I think we have a very strong shot at going undefeated. Uh, but, you know, we just got to lock in. It's, it's very early to say that, but I do feel confident about this team. So anyways, thanks you for watching. If you made it this far, definitely check out some of the other videos on this channel. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if there's anything else you would like to see on this channel, just make sure to comment that below. I read out the comments. So, yeah, won't get lost. Until next time, peace.